Hi, it's Leia here from the Center of Key and Yoga with Leia. If you're a hay fever sufferer like myself, then you have come to the right place. Today's class is all about boosting the immune system to help us fight the hay fever reactions in the body to improve the lungs and our elimination functions as well. So let's roll out our mats and get started. All right, so to begin with, we're gonna sit off to one side Bring one foot in front, one foot is behind with the toes pointing away. We want to start by opening through the side body. So hands interlace behind your head, draw the elbows back, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, take the elbow over to the outside foot. Feel the side here stretch and open. It might feel a little sticky. Inhale, come up. And exhale, go over, over again. Feel the bottom elbow stretch down, the top elbow lift up. Inhale, come up. Let's do six a little faster. So one, two, inhale to come up, exhale, three, four, feel the side open, five, and six. Good, coming all the way up, let your arms go. Let's take the legs off to the other side now. So one foot in front, one foot behind, pointing away. Hands again, interlace behind the head, elbows drawing back, that's it. Take a breath in and exhale, over we go. Just slowly first feel that side open. It might be a little bit stiff to start with. Breathe in, coming up and exhale, taking it over. Elbow coming to the foot. Make sure the elbow doesn't swing forwards. Breathe in, up, and let's go six a little faster. So one, two, inhale, lift, exhale, three, that's it, four, two more, five, and six. Excellent stuff. All right, let the arms go. We're going to sit on the knees again. All right, we did it at the very, very start. And just drop the hips off now. So the feet are just off to the side a little way. All right. This time hands interlace on the head with the palms facing up to the ceiling. So it might be a little uncomfortable to see how you go. Take a breath in and exhale, push the arms away, stretch through the hands away from you, feel the side body stretch more. Good, breathe in, bring the hands back to the head, belly and chest expanding and exhale. As you breathe out, just try and relax Lengthen the arms, feel the side body open even more. Lovely. Let's do one more. Breath in, hands to head. Feel it all expand and stretch. And then breathing out, try and relax as you extend the arms away. Feel the side open. Make sure this top shoulder isn't rolling forwards. Pull it back slightly and soften a bit further. Lovely. And then breathe in. Coming all the way back, awesome. All right, so sitting back on the heels and let's drop the hips the other way now. Feet off to the side a little way. And again, hands interlace. So if you do find a harder side, then maybe do a couple more on the hard side. So big breath in. And exhale, stretch the arms away, push the palms away from you, soften and lengthen the side body. Good, breathe in, bring the hands back in. And exhaling over, big breath out, relax into it. Good, there's one more breath in. And exhale, extend, long breath out, make sure the top shoulder's rolling back. Soften, now all the breath is gone. Good, and then gently back. Excellent, so coming up onto the hands and knees now. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Just feeling that looseness through the side body. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna lift the back, tuck the head, squeeze the belly in nice and strongly. Breathe into neutral spine, let it be soft. And then exhale, go the other way. Lift the head, look up, feel the throat stretch, push the hands into the floor. Inhale to center. And exhale, squeeze the belly up, tuck the head under, make your arch in the back nice and high. Breathe into center. 
and then exhale, go the other way, looking up, squeeze the back, good, and then coming to centre as you breathe in, lovely, I'm going to bring your knees together now, make sure your feet are kind of towards the end of your mat, and then stretch the arms in front of you, so hands are about shoulder width wide, and what we're going to do is drop the chest towards the floor, making sure the bottom stays above the knees. Okay, so we don't want to go back like this. So really be aware of where your hips are in relation to your knees. So take a breath in and exhale, drop the chest down. Try to pull your chin forwards if you can, looking towards the fingers. Inhale, halfway up. And then exhale, dropping down again. That's it, bottom above the knees, looking forwards. Inhale, halfway up. Let's do six bounces. So one. Two, three, nice big breathing, four, five, and six. And let's just hold here for three or four breaths. Breathing through the nose. Keep allowing the sternum to drop towards the floor. And pulling the chin forwards. Lovely. And then slide yourself back. Take the knees slightly apart and we just curl up into a child's pose and let that go. Allow the shoulders to hang. If you need to, you can rest your head on your fists. Otherwise, head is on the mat, hands by the feet. And just take a couple of quiet, gentle breaths. Breathing into the side body from before, expanding through there. Lovely stuff. All right. Let's curl up slowly, gently through the spine. All right. So we're going to come up into a down dog now. So I like to bring the hands back under the shoulders. So this is a very sort of basic beginner's version of getting into it. And then I take the bottom back to the heels and allow the arms to lengthen. And that's where we want the hands to stay. So Cement your hands into the floor, come back onto the hands and knees, and then from there just tuck your toes in. And we're going to lift the bottom up to the ceiling. So take a breath in, and as you exhale, taking the hips up, look back between your legs, press down through the hands, heels dropping towards the mat, and just breathing here, a few breaths, feeling strong and stable, maybe you're shaking a bit, that's okay, belly working to hold you in place, feel the sacrum lengthening away from the crown of your head, nice strong breaths through the nose, good, and then gently coming back onto the knees, walk your knees through, and then roll onto your back and lie down. So we just take a moment to relax and rest. Whew. Feeling the work you've just done. So holding down dog. For some of us that's really, really easy. For some of us that's a lot more challenging. So if you wanted to hold it a bit longer, you could. We are going to come back to down dog before the end of this session. Excellent stuff. So we do want to open the front of the body. We're going to do two different stretches or exercises for that. First one is bridge. So bend the knees up. And if we can, we're going to grab the ankles. So one hand, each hand wrapping around and holding on. Now if you can't do that, you can always tuck your fingers into your pants or just press your palms down into the floor. Okay, so either of those versions. Just notice your feet, are they turning out? If they are, turn the big toes in. So, chin tucking to the chest, feel the neck lengthen. See if the shoulders can roll back gently. Take a big breath in. And exhale, lift your hips up now, squeezing up into the back. Push down through the feet, feel the belly stretch. Inhale all the way back to the floor. And exhale, up we go again, squeezing down to lift up. Good, inhale gently back, one more slowly, 
Exhale, squeezing up each time we go a little bit higher. Inhale down, let's do eight faster now. So one, big throw. Two, inhale down, exhale, three, four, don't be shy, let's go, five, six, seven, and eight, big squeeze on that last one, keep lifting, keep breathing out, and then gently coming all the way back, good, let the arms and legs go, take a moment there, palms up beside you. Breathing into the belly. So this is a condensed class. To do a full class would probably go for an hour, but I'm just putting in some key poses here for us specifically for the hay fever. Already noticing the breath is deeper, fuller, chest more open. So we're gonna work on opening the chest a little more with a variation of fish pose. So for this one, we're going to bend the knees up to start, and then lift your bottom and slide your hands underneath. Have the thumbs cross over, and then place your bottom back onto your wrists. So you should be sitting on your wrists, or your bottom should be on your wrists, and try to straighten the arms as much as you can. Try not to have the elbows out to the side. So depending on your shoulder, Flexibility, that might be a challenge, but try and slide the hands away and then sit down on your wrists and stretch the legs out straight. Okay, so legs are side by side, feel the sides of the feet touching. Let the feet just be relaxed. So what we're gonna do, just have a quick look first, is we're gonna exhale, push down with the elbows and forearms and come onto the top of the head. Okay, we're just gonna hold and breathe through the nose in this position. Okay, if you have any neck problems, vertigo, misalignment of the vertebrae in the neck, then please don't do this pose. You can instead just have the palms down and you can hold a bridge with the feet in line with your hips and you can hold and breathe that, breathe through your nose, keep lifting up, okay? That's the variation if you have neck difficulties or neck Problems, so please consider that a warning. All right, so legs together, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, now push down with the elbows coming onto the top of the head. We're holding here, breathing. If you do have neck problems, then please just do, in, do the bridge variation I just showed you, and we're holding and breathing. Breathing through the nose, the mouth is closed, Press down with the forearms, elbows and wrists into the floor. And now activate the legs by squeezing the kneecaps up towards the thighs and pressing the backs of the legs down into the floor. Feel the breath come all the way to the belly. As you exhale, draw the belly button in. Keep pressing down with the elbows, the forearms, and the wrists if you're in the fish pose. And if you are in fish pose and you wanna go a little more strongly, see if you can press down and maybe the head just dangles a centimeter off the floor. Keep breathing through the nose, keep squeezing up through the thighs, forearms, elbows, wrists pressing down, chest is opening, Good, and then gently slide yourself back. Let the hands come out. And just turn your palms over and breathe. Relax everything. Notice how that feels. Bring your breath down low into the body. Automatically the belly is expanding and contracting with each breath. We give ourselves about a minute or so here to relax, adjust and integrate what we've done. So whether you did the fish pose or the bridge variation, hopefully you're feeling the results of your efforts. All right, 
So we're going to bend the knees up, bring the knees over the chest, and just gently holding. Shoulders are soft. Take a breath in and exhale, pulling the head to the knees. Make yourself into a tight little ball. Inhale, bring the head back. Exhale, squeezing up. One more breath in. And exhale, lifting. And then let's rock and roll a few times along the spine. Take the feet as far back as they can go. And then coming all the way up. Excellent. All right, so we're going to come onto the knees. We're going to do a half camel variation. So I want you to place your right hand on the back with the fingers pointing down towards the feet. And the left hand is going to be on the left thigh. So what we're going to do is take a breath in. And on the exhale, we just stretch your fingers forward, make a big arc, and as we arc the arm, the hips lift forward, and we're pushing the hand on the back and stretching the fingertips away on the straight arm. The arm is next to the ear. And then breathe in, come all the way down. Exhale, stretch the fingers forward, big arc coming back, push the hand on the back, feel the front of the body stretch, feel the arm lengthen. And then breathe in gently down. We do two more. And exhale forwards, um, lengthening, push the hips forward with the hand on the back, stretch the fingertips away. Inhale gently back. There's one more. And breathing out, stretch the arm, big arc with the arm coming all the way back, feeling the front of the body stretch as you squeeze the hips forward. And then gently coming down. Lovely. So swap the hands over. So left hand on the back now, right hand on the thigh. Just stay here, breathe in. And exhale, relax. Good. All right, breath in. And exhale, stretch the fingers coming forwards and up and lengthen back now. Push the hips forwards with the hand on the back. Breathe in, coming all the way down. Exhale, I want this arm to stretch and reach up and back, extending. Feel the body open at the front and the back squeeze. Inhale, coming down. And exhale, coming forwards and up, extending and opening. Lovely, there's one more breath in, coming back. And exhale forwards, arm reaching back, arm next to the ear, fingertips getting further and further away. And then breathe in, coming down. Lovely stuff. Let's come straight onto the hands and knees now. Don't worry if the back aches a little bit. Take a breath in. And exhale, lifting the back up, draw the belly in more now, squeeze. Good, and then breathe in, we're going to go the other way, look up. Push down through the hands, feel the throat stretch, looking to the ceiling. And then exhale, lift the back up, tucking the head under, just feeling the spine moving. Good, one more each way, inhale, lift, look up. Push down with the hands, feel the throat stretch, use your eyes to gaze upwards. And then exhale, draw the back up, tucking the head under, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good, and then just coming to neutral spine. So we're going to take our down dog again in a moment. So let's take the bottom back, stretch the arms, hands shoulder width. And then come back up onto the knees. This time take the feet a bit wider than the shoulders. So coming out to the edges of your mat. Take a breath in. And exhale, taking the bottom up. And we're looking back. So looking back, seeing your feet are wider than your shoulders. Bigger gap there. We're going to take a breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to drop the hips down. Push through the heels. And look up to the ceiling and squeeze into your bottom strongly. And then breathe in, take 
the bottom up, looking back between the legs, push through the heels, and exhale, coming through and down. Now push through the hands so the shoulders aren't sagging. Push the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, coming up. Big breath in. Exhale. Breathe it out. Squeeze the bottom. Push the heels away. Three more. Inhale, coming up. Push the heels down. Stretch through the arms. Exhale. Drop the hips. Push through the hands. Squeeze the bottom. Inhale, coming up. And exhale. Big breath out. One more. Big breath in. And big breath out. Good. And then coming all the way back up into down dog. Just step the feet a little closer together. About shoulder width now. Breathing strongly into the belly. Feel the arms lengthening. Feel the spine lengthening. And the heels closer to the floor. <sighs> Lovely stuff. All right, bring the knees down. Walk them through. And we lie down on the back and have another rest. Whew, strong work. Take a breath or two there. <sighs> really feeling that strength and energy in the lower body. Openness through the chest. Being able to breathe a bit more deeper. Just allow the whole body to relax and soften. Just a few more seconds here resting. So bring your legs together, bring your hands onto your belly, pull your toes back on your feet and tuck your chin to your chest. So we want to try and sit up and we just see how far we can get. So take a breath in and exhale, lifting the head off the floor. Look at your feet, just feeling the belly working there. Inhale, come back. And again, exhale, lifting the head, seeing if you can get up a little bit higher now. Inhale, come back. We don't want to throw the body up though. And exhale, squeezing into the belly, trying to sit up. If you can't, use your hands, push yourself up all the way. We're going to cross the legs over and then come onto the belly. So coming down onto your tummy. Excellent stuff. All right, so we're going to do a half bow pose here. So what we'll do is we'll stretch the left arm out in front of us. Bend the right knee. And we want to reach around and try and grab the ankle. So some of us might not be able to reach the ankle. We can only hold the foot, but we just see how, if we can. Either way, we want to pull the toes back and away from us. So notice how the toes can point towards my head or they can pull away from my head. And that's the position we want the foot to be in. And we get the stretch here through the Achilles tendon. The knees come together as best we can. We're going to place the forehead on the mat and this arm is really close to your ear. So make sure the arm isn't coming out to the side. So we're going to lift up in a moment. The bent knee will lift and the chest, the upper body and the arm. The straight leg stays on the ground. All right, so take a breath in there and just breathe out, relax. <sighs> Let the tension come out of the body. All right, big breath in. As you exhale, the bent knee lifts, the foot pulls away from you, and the arm and the chest lift off the floor as well. And then inhale gently back. Knees try and stay together whilst they're on the floor. And then exhale, the bent knee lifts, the foot pulls away, the chest lifts up, and the arm lengthens too. Inhale, coming back, there's one more. And big breath out, lifting. Let's see if we can stay here for a couple of breaths. Breathing through the nose, stretching through the fingertips, pulling the toes away. Feel the chest lift more, 
Extend out through the straight leg on the ground. Good, and then gently coming down. Just let that go, relax everything. Let the legs be soft, let the shoulders relax. Notice how one half of the body feels. And we'll match it up with the other in a moment. So let's take the right arm out, bend the left knee, reach around for the left ankle if you can. And then again, notice the foot, is it pulling towards you? Pull the toes back strongly so your Achilles tendon is stretching. Knees are coming together. Other arms right next to the ear, forward on the mat. So take a breath in. Stay there, breathe out. <sighs> Softening, relaxing. Big breath in. And now exhale, lift. So bent knee lifting, chest lifting, head lifting, arm lengthening. Inhale, come down. Exhale, up we go. Foot pulling away from you, toes pulling back. Inhale, gently back. And last one, exhale, we lift. We're gonna stay and breathe. Feel the arms stretching forwards. Feel the foot pulling you away. And then gently coming down again. Let everything go, relax. Head to the side. Breathe into the back. <sighs> Soften as you exhale. Strong work, half bow. If you find one side is harder, then maybe do one or two more on your hard side. <sighs> or hold the other side, the harder side a little longer. Hmm. All right, so we'll give full bow a chance, a go. So, <sighs> let's try that again. So let's give full bow a go. So we're gonna bend both knees, grab both ankles. Now if you can't do full bow, then go back to half and just do one or two more on each side. But we wanna again pull the toes back on the feet as if the toes are pulling you back. The forehead comes to the mat. And depending on your flexibility, we can either have the knees apart for the more advanced, we can have the knees together. So just see how you go, how your shoulders feel as you do that. All right, so taking a breath in. Again, exhale, relax and soften. Taking another breath in. And as you exhale, the feet pull away, the chest lifts up off the floor and feel the front of the body stretch and the back squeeze. And then inhale, come down. Try and relax as you inhale. And then exhale, lifting up, feeling the belly stretch, the back squeeze, the feet pull away from you strongly. Good, inhale, come back. Big breath out, squeezing up. Good, and then inhale, come down. All right, just let that go for a moment. Legs are soft, toes turn in, heels turn out. Nice deep breaths. All right, so we're gonna do one more where we go up and then we're going to stay up for a few breaths. And on that one, we're going to inhale and then exhale, we'll try and squeeze the knees together. We're just gonna throw the knees in and out, in and out a few times. So let's give that a try. So grab your ankles again. Toes are pulling back on the feet. Forehead is on the floor. Take a big breath in. And exhale, relax everything again. <sighs> Release the tension. Take a breath in, and now exhale, we lift up off the floor. Lovely, so we're gonna stay up, breathe in, and as you exhale, squeeze the knees and ankles together. Keep looking forwards. Inhale, knees come apart. Exhale, squeeze the knees together. Inhale, apart, let's do six more. One, 
two, inhale apart, exhale, three, four, five, and squeezing together. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths if we can. Shoulders pulling back, feet pulling back, chest opening, shoulders stretching. Good, and then gently coming down. Lovely stuff, good. And we're just gonna come onto the back now. Let that go, so just roll over if you like. <sighs> Palms up beside you. Feel the body softening. Notice the breath in the belly and the chest expanding. So we want to give our body time to assimilate the changes, the work you've done. We don't want to just get up and rush around. The rest is important for this purpose. Gives us a moment to connect body, mind and breath. And these are the moments that enable us to tune in deeply to ourselves. And we can do this during the yoga as well. The more practice you get, the easier it is to feel this connection within each pose. But the rest part here gives us that opportunity to start that tuning in process. Notice how effortless the breath is now. All right, so bending those knees up, let's grab hold gently, gently. You can rock side to side a couple of times if you like. And then taking your breath in, Exhale, pulling the head to the knees, and then let's rock and roll a few times along the spine again, coming all the way up to sitting. So we're going to finish with a breathing exercise, so if you want to grab a cushion to sit on, I'm going to pop one underneath my bottom. That's it. Alright, so we're going to do an alternate nostril breath with a box breathing counting. So we're going to breathe in through one nostril for the count of six. We're going to hold the breath in for a count of six and then we're going to breathe out through the other nostril for a count of six. Hold the breath out for a count of six and then inhale through that one. Hold, exhale the other side. So we want to, you can use the right hand if you like, place your two um, fingers on the bridge of the nose or just above between the two eyebrows there. So the thumb can go on one side and then the fourth, the ring finger can go to the other side. And we're just gonna use those fingers to alternate. So depending on if you need to blow your nose before we start, that's always a good idea. So if you do need to do that, just pause and go and do that now. All right, so hopefully your nasal passages are relatively clear. We place two fingers just on the top part of the nose there, or just above the bridge. And we're just going to start by taking one normal breath in without blocking a nostril. And then exhale. And then just placing your ring finger on the nostril on that left side maybe. Inhale through your right nostril. And we're going to hold that in so you can block the nostril you just breathed in through. And then release the other side, breathing out. Count of six. Hold the breath out for a count of six. 
and then breathe in through that side. Hold that nostril closed, so both nostrils are closed as you hold for a count of six. And then release the other side, breathing out for a count of six. Hold the breath out for a count of six. And then breathe in through that side. Hold both nostrils closed to a count of six. And then release the other side, breathe out. Hold the breath out for a count of six. And then breathe in. Hold the breath in, block both nostrils. And then release the other side, exhaling for a count of six. Hold the breath out. And then breathing in. Hold both nostrils closed for a count of six. Try and relax as you hold. And then breathing out through that other side. Hold the breath out for a count of six. And then breathing in. Hold the breath in. And last one, exhale now. Exhale through the other side. Hold it out. And then release the hand. And just breathe gently through both nostrils now. Notice how much clearer the nasal passages are now. Congestion has been released, breath has deepened. Lovely stuff, well done. All right, so let's take a moment to breathe in, rise both arms up, exhale down, and again breath in, and out. Last one, big breath in. This time exhale, hands through to prayer pose. Softening, palms together, tuck the chin in slightly. Just notice how your body feels, how your breath feels. Clearer, calmer. Supporting your body as we go through the hay fever season. Try and do this class every day if you can, or if not every second day for the next couple of weeks and hopefully you'll notice an improvement in your immune response and your sinuses as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. Lovely to have you here. I look forward to seeing you in another video real soon. Bye for now.